Lady and gentlemen, welcome to Tina Sonic Watch Along Final Warning. This is of course this is of course the day after we did with the Tina Sonic Watch Along deadline with some day three anime like there was a part timer, uh, Orange and last but not least Kana Super plus the OVA. But guys, let's just say this. Today is the day where we're gonna watch of course Scott Pilgrim take off. This is of course a this is of course a new anime that was based on the comic, video game, and live action movie back in 2010 and now they finally are making it to the anime which we are going to see. Well guys, this is of course the final warning because Sonic, Dono, and Mokomo tell us about the final warning about when it's gonna come and whether we're gonna watch it. But guys, well I gotta say this, first of all, Sonic, um, by the time we're done with the watch along, uh, let's prepare for the match in a few hours. So I wish you were nothing but the best of luck. So uh, let's see who let's see if you would take my title or not. But look at even though this event is gonna come and because we know that this event is of, of course a Teen Al Sonic like the Soul Production and Teen Al Sonic exclusive pair view, similar as um, Holiday Battleground last year, which is the last event of the year. Because we know that this year last, uh, we know that this year is of course War Legend last period of the year, which is on the roll. Once we're done with the final, once we're done with the final warning, then we of course gonna want, we of course gonna be in the War Legend. Think about War Legend, the next event for the, for the watch on, and of course tell us how watch on final warning, where. We're gonna of course kick off with the last episode of Spy Family and then last but not least we're gonna watch the Kenna Wooing with all 12 episodes. So guys this is gonna be like intense in the last event. And also we know that Kenna's not watching our war and it's gonna come with Big Free Anime like Rats gonna get Rider right by Senpai, uh Shiki Shikimori which is a cutie and last and not least that we've been waiting for. The saddest anime that we heard that people were talking about. Volley Evergarden. So you guys ready? <sighs> here we go. And guys, we are here. We're gonna, we're gonna watch the first episode of Scott Pilgrim and got it feel weird because right now because we're gonna watch the 28 minute of the Scott Pilgrim. This is similar as close party because the time so it's like, feel like I'm moving. Yeah. But we're gonna watch this anime to the first episode. God, we cannot wait. Ever since the past few weeks that they was like first released, we are so excited to see this anime. So to see what this anime is about. We wow. know that the comic, game, and the movie was a live action movie. So we're, we're gonna see this. Fun fact, I had it on Nintendo Switch, but never did it, it didn't even finish it. But you got ready? All right, let's do it. And now, if you don't watch along, final warning, percent, Scott Power Takeoff, episode one, start now. Here we go, guys. Yeah, we're 
you're back. Man, I'm nowhere. Desert. Oh. The quarter will walk. Oh my god. Oh. What the hell? Oh. Oh. The girl of my dreams? It's time to wake up. Good job. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I have a dream about that girl again. Oh. <sighs> I didn't care the first time he told me. Care even less now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I just wait. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, so it was She is cool, hey. Gay roommate? Oh, she's gay. Wow. So specific. When are you getting your own place? Isn't this my place? No. But you crashed here one time and you never left. That's not how I remember it. <sighs> Could you at least get your own stuff? Mm -hmm. oh. Stuff? Yeesh. Whoa. You do not have stuff. Ooh, can I have some? Some of my coffee? I don't have to take this guff from you. You're right. You know. So leave. I was just about to anyway. Hi. Whoa. Toronto, Canada. Not too long ago. You can't live like a hundred ground. That's crazy. We are a sex football! One, two, three, four! Hey, what are the stars of the front corner? It sure does. Uh, and tonight, the front corner is coming. Deep in. taste and those things others don't wouldn't count on it want to do it again let's do it again <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you can hear that cross eye oh yes all right hello cn tower and Toronto, Ontario. it's gonna be a good place to be yeah, why aren't you bringing your new girlfriend to Joel's party she's not really my girlfriend what is she? She's sort of my girlfriend. Scott, your life is so interesting. <laughs> it's him. Oh, that was sarcasm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that party. Oh, shit. Oh, oh you guys want to party? Huh? What the? Oh. So everyone's here, huh? Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, a lot of people. Get together.
Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, yes, it's me! <laughs> I don't even know this, but in the early 90s, there were two different Sonic cartoons airing at the same time. Oh, yeah. One was dark and dramatic. The other was a hilarious comedy about chili dogs. And oh, the yeah. same guy played Sonic in both shows. Isn't that wild? The same guy played two different versions of the same guy? Maybe, maybe you didn't watch cartoons, sir. Or you're not into chili dogs. Thanks for the shout out, man. <laughs> They're okay. Ridiculous. Oh my god. I mostly watched older stuff when I was a kid. You know, Columbo reruns. Reruns. Cool. Got it. I'm Are you real? Did you just ask me if I was real? Uh, oh. no. I was talking to someone else. Bye. Ooh. Wow, you saw her. No, but the, honestly, that's like, that's a really nice shout out. Yeah. Hey, we just started the anime. Uh, why are you here? Uh, I'm a plus one. <laughs> there were no plus Curated. ones. Everyone here is someone I invited personally. My parties are curated. Uh, so... Do you know this one girl with hair like this? Ramona Flowers? Ramona. Ramona. She's from New York City. The Big Apple. She moved uh -huh. here after a bad breakup. She's single? Got a job delivering DVDs for Netflix. DVDs for yeah, Netflix. I'm like her only Netflix. friend in town. Oh. She needs friends. I forbid you from dating her, Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> cool, thanks, Julie. Bye. What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wallace, quick. What movie should I rent? Netflix. You're banned from no account video. You owe like a good jillion dollars in oh. life fees. <laughs> Not the rental place. I'm using the World Wide Web. What should I rent? Hmm, something starring a hot guy. Hot guy. No, it was off. Was off. I think I need the name of a hot guy. Hmm, fine. Um, uh, Lucas Lee. Lucas. Best chest in the business. Hmm, action doctor. Let's hope there's a heaven for the game here. Ooh, the game is over too. It's over a second time. That sounds fun. Right. Look, are you waiting for the DVD? It's going to take a bit. How long could it take? Um, well, for sure. Alright, All right, next day, afternoon, night, next day. You the whole day. Afternoon, night, next day. Oh, it's really ready. <gasps> hey! hey! Sonic guy? <laughs> okay. Yes, that's me. Are you Wallace Wells? No, I'm Scott. Scott Pilgrim. Wallace is my cool game roommate. He lets me use his credit card. Oh. Oh. So like a sugar daddy situation. Oh. Uh. Sugar what? <laughs> cool. Enjoy your DVD, Mr. Wells. Come on, Scott. Wait. Hmm? Are you the person in my dreams? I thought we went over this already. So you are. Isn't that weird? It's not weird at all. There's just a really convenient subspace highway running through your head. It's like three miles in 15 seconds. Okay. I don't know what that is in kilometers. Space subways. Totally. I get it. Anyway, want to go out sometime? You want to go on a date with me? Yes! It doesn't have to yeah. be a date. It could be a low-key team-up. Canada and America joining forces. You're new in town. I'm old in town. What do you think? Hmm. Oh, oh, hold on. There it is. Why are you just standing there? Dude, I'm waiting on you. Oh my god, she's so badass. It's getting nice out, yeah, eh? Yeah. I didn't really need the parka. What's with the X, anyway? Oh, this? Well, obviously one of us went to Professor Xavier's school for gifted youngsters, and one of us did not. Is that a Sonic thing? Oh my god. <laughs> Sonic? No, it isn't. So, why'd you move to Toronto? Just so you could go to Julie's parties? <laughs> no. Well, I got the job delivering DVDs for Netflix, and Gideon always said Toronto is one of the great cities, so... Oh. Is Gideon a boyfriend? He's... a friend. So, what do you do? I'm between jobs. Between what and what? Well, my last job is a really long story filled with sighs. Maybe we can get into it in a later episode. We don't have to talk about our pasts. It's my least favorite subject. 
Yeah, I should have checked the weather. I guess you need that parking now. It's just a little bit of snow. Did it snow where you came from? <laughs> I thought we were avoiding the past. Where are you from? That's not the past, that's a location. <laughs> Fine. Where are you from? Up north. Ah. But you're used to this kind of weather, right? Yeah. Are you? I grew up in the mountains, man. Oh, did you do a lot of skiing? No, not really. Uh. <laughs> Wait, rewind. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Oh my god. Bring me Matthew Patel. Oh, uh, what? Matthew Patel. Oh, uh, what? Oh, no. I assumed, considering your rollerblade. I just figured skating when I was four. Ah, look at that. You got me talking about the past again. You're quite the trickster, Scott Pilgrim. And I wasn't even trying. <sighs> this really kicked oh, up. Those are... Ramona! Oh. I can't see you! Relax. Take my hand. Nice. There hey. should be a door around here. Oh, this oh, door. The door. Oh, oh. Oh. oh my god. <sighs> this oh. is your apartment. So that store door was one of your space subways? Basically, yeah. Good thing this wasn't a real date. Otherwise it would qualify as a major disaster. <laughs> I'll make us some tea. You're kind of sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you're dying. <laughs> Let me get your blanket. Oh, God. Right, go off. Give me this time, it's freaking cold. Damn you, snow. Uh, where's the water? Dude, look, I'm changing. Ah, sorry. Oh. I'm just cold and innocent. There you go. Now I can't see anything. That's better. Does this help? Whoa. I'm cold too. Oh. Yeah! Oh my god, what is this? My first episode. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Were you, were you just going to bring the blanket from your bed? I guess. Maybe we could both get under it while it's on the bed, since we're both... Uh, you say it's mature audience, right? Oh, oh! Oh my god, we can't believe we've seen this. I, I'm not sure if I'm ready. I changed my mind. From what? To what? I don't want to have sex with you, Pilgrim. Not right now. That's okay. That's cool. I'm not going to send you home in a snowstorm or anything. You can sleep in my bed. Oh. And I reserve the right to change my mind about the sex later. Awesome. Aww. This is such a... Aww, meanwhile. Nah, come on. So what's all what's, what's that with her? You slept for me. I did. So that's ex-boyfriend? I just wanted to say thanks for creating this league. It's a pretty high concept. I didn't bring you here for flattery. Things have taken a turn. It seems our dear Ramona has a new suitor. It's really happening? Who is he? My interns compiled extensive research on the subject. Scott Pilgrim, 23 years old, lives in Toronto, Canada. Jobless, hopeless. He's in an indie band of subjective quality. How long have they been dating? They've been on one date, but he's currently sleeping in her bed. That bastard! Indeed. But this is where it gets interesting. Scott Pilgrim is dating a high schooler. Uh, wait, I I'm sorry, did you say he's dating a high schooler? Dating may be a strong word. Our intel says they've never kissed, but they did hold hands once. Just remember that. He hasn't told her yet. Wow. And I thought we were evil. What's his fight experience? He's been described as, quote, the best fighter in the province. 
Uncle. Oh, this is gonna sounds like a challenge. Are you worried? <laughs> no. I'm glad it won't be easy. I'll relish this victory. Ramona's new guy's gonna wish he was never born. Because his brutal death is inevitable. Because of me. Because I'm gonna kill him. And then he'll be dead. I hope Scott Pilgrim enjoys the final few days of his precious little life. <laughs> Oh no! Good morning. Uh, oh, what time is it? Not quite 8 a.m. Uh -huh. I have to work, so you have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can this not be a one night stand? For one thing, I'm not even sure if it would count. Mm -hmm. I'll consider it. Oh. What did you have in mind? Um, oh, my band has a show tonight at the Rocket, 9 p.m. You have a band? Yeah, we're terrible. Please come. Um, yeah, okay. 9 p.m., the Rocket. I'll be there. Yeah. Okay. That was fun, yeah. yeah. Well, guys, this is gonna this is get more intense because. Oh, I bet you're wondering why I never came home last night. I did wonder how I got so lucky. <laughs> well, actually, I am the one who got lucky because I spent the night with the girl of or from my Thank dreams, yeah, Ramona me. Flowers. Congrats. You need to break up with your fake high school girlfriend. Hey, what? Oh, uh, do nice. I have to? I mean, are we really even dating? Nice thinks you are. And Knives is an angel. You need to end it immediately. Fine. You're right. I'll do it. Come on, man. Good. By the way, there's a letter for you. A letter? A letter. Scott Pilgrim. Dear Mr. Pilgrim, my name is Matthew Patel. Oh, oh shit. Sure. I challenge you to a blah, blah, blah. Something about fighting. Fight? The League of Evil Axes. More like a league of boring. You coming to our show tonight? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Alright, 8.34 p.m. This night. Whoa. The animation is really cool. Hey, nice. Hey, Rich, Stacy. Wow. I've heard so much about you. Oh, Scott's sister. Oh, my God. I am 16 kinds of pumped to see sex bob on tonight. That's how it goes. I feel so insane. I may actually pass out. Oh, my God. She's so nice. Boy, sure seems like nobody delivered crushing news to you today. Crushing? Like, a bad kind of crushing? Oh, you poor thing. Yeah, I know. You're better than him. Just know that, okay? Better than who? Scott. Oh. oh no! Oh. He is so fast. Oh god. Oh. Why are you stressing, Scott? Who's stressing? Steven's stressing. Of course I'm stressing. The opening band pulled out. They flaked. Mm -hmm. Crashing the boys flaked. I heard they were changing it to just crash and losing the boys. You can't call a band crash. Crash is a cold classic car crash sex film shot right here in Toronto. I didn't know you were a cinephile. What's a cinephile? <sighs> crash, boys. Either way, they probably canceled because they think we suck. We probably do. Oh, fuck me. That's not funny, Kim. If we suck, then the audience won't like us. They'll think we suck. Maybe we should cancel the show. Hey! Oh. There's only one way to find out if we suck, and that's by playing now. Well, screw it, there. We're going to perform. We're going to perform this shit. You got ready? You know what I'm saying? Jump us along. All right, bitch ass. So, are you a fan of sex, Bob? I don't want to talk No, to I'm kind of seeing someone in the band. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, I do. Who are you dating in the band? Wait! Yeah, I had a bad feeling about this. 
Guys, that's it for the first episode of Scott Pilgrim. And guys, now we're gonna watch the episode two of Scott Pilgrim. So you guys ready? Uh, yeah. This is the subtitle. Uh, don't worry about it. Sure. Yeah, fine. All right. Okay. Scott, no. I won. <laughs> what are you doing? I won. That means you and I are free to get back together. Right? Those are the rules of the league. Hey! Where are you going? <laughs> guys! Did anyone get that fight on video? You guys What's going on? Oh, my. Where did everybody go? Is the show over? There was no show. The bass player was punched to death. Did you say punched to death? As in to, to death? Yeah. Yes. God is dead. Those are the words I said. Oh no. Stop. Huh? Oh. What's this? Oh. What the hell? Whoa. Oh. 
Oh my god! It's reverse! You what? <sighs> okay. A lay of their own. Excuses any. Not the hair. I can't believe he's gone. It's not a surprise, really. He was always taking on high level enemies. Yeah, but he always won. Nobody wins forever. The house does. Hmm? Like casinos? I'm gonna sit next to someone else. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, you're the girl that got the car killed, right? It's good to meet you. Uh, Ramona. Young you. <sighs> Ramona. 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 I guess now I'll never know if we sucked. Which is kind of nice. Just wish you were under different circumstances. Miss you, pal. Yeah, that's a good start. Matthew, not her. Oh no. I don't know if that's fair. She does not her own. You're responsible. You're the one to blame. It was Matthew. This is the guy who kills God. This has got to be the most dramatic funeral I've ever been to. Oh my god. It doesn't get more dramatic. Or does it? <laughs> oh. Wow, that was pretty hey, guy. I remember. Who's that? Oh, oh. shit. Who is Envy? Envy? Scott X? Wait, so Scott X? Are you kidding me? What the fuck is going on? Oh, uh, uh, that's not good. Yeah. Oh. Uh, guys, I would like to. Showtime. Uh, showtime? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a concert, but beautiful. Token as he died. New York City, America. That's what happened. New York City. Oh, yeah, that's the big apple. Oh, Mr. Lee, I am a, I'm a huge fan. Tell me something I don't know. Damn, he's bald. Oh, yeah. I want to play a game. Maybe we'll play after the end of March along. Alright. I have for a switch. Okay. So this is a secret letter. Lucas. 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 Heard you started dipping your toes in the waters of the acting game. I've had a few auditions. Maybe you should stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Let the pros do the pro things. Vegans have perfect photographic memories. I could memorize an entire script just like that. I don't even read the scripts anymore. I just say the first thing that pops into my head. It's called being in the moment. Is that why half your mind's in your last movie? What, what the hell? Party? Holy crap. Don't you did it hurt? Or oh, you still? Drink, sir. Let's party. Okay. See you later, bro. Why'd you bring us here, Gideon? I didn't. The person behind this event remains a mystery. Number one. Who invited the robot? No one did. That's uh, it. That's it. You. You're the one that killed Scott. The robots with us. The first one we ever built. We call them Robot 01. We turned in two. Male. These are special, oh, little guy. This party was curated. Oh! oh. No, I want. I see none of you took my request for a cocktail attire seriously. Oh, I don't even know what that is. I thought it meant there'd be drinks. I was right. No matter. I brought you all here because I've realized there's a fatal flaw in our league. A failure of leadership. Are you questioning my methods? I'm not questioning them. I'm answering them. Uh... I, Matthew Patel, defeated Ramona's new boyfriend. I've got nothing for it. Ramona has a new boyfriend? Sounds like she had a new boyfriend. Correct. His name was Scott Pilgrim, and I punched him into the next life. 
Scott Pilgrim? The random Canadian guy whose funeral was inexplicably attended by Andy Adams? Yep. She performed a song. It was all over the news! Yep. That's what? Wait, what? My girlfriend. Andy Adams? Ugh. We, we all with her? you're dating Andy Adams. Act like you've been here before. Listen to me, all of you. If we win, we don't get Ramona. I flawlessly defeated her precious little Scott, and she still turned me down. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're the lowest ranked evil ex. Why do you think you get the girl? You were fighting him, so I get the girl. Wait, that's your plan? And the rest of us get nothing? Nothing? Sounds like a bad deal. I think this league needs a new direction. And a new evil ex in charge. You really think I just hand the league over? No. I think I'll fight you for it. Whoa. You versus me. Winner takes all. I'm Gideon Briggs. I own two record labels, a movie studio, 14 animal shelters, and this league. Oh. You're a D-plus theater student with delusional Broadway dreams. This is a joke. You're not worth my time. Sounds like somebody's scared. What did you just say? Oh, uh, she said it sounds like somebody's scared. That's what I thought she said. <laughs> oh, but that's not me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing's ever scared me. My nickname in school was Fearless. I wore no fear shirts every day. Sounds to me like those shirts were a lie, bro. <laughs> they weren't a lie. There's type of shame he had to put his fists where his mouth is. Alright, we're gonna go about it again. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. Winner takes all? That's what you propose? You think you stand a chance against my power? Fine. These are my terms. If you win, you can take it all. The League, my empire, everything. But, if you lose, which you will. I take your life. I accept those terms. Then it's time for you to be reunited with Scott Pilgrim. In hell. No. Uh, Oh! Oh! Oh, shit. Oh! Now, girl! Oh, trap! 
So, man, now Matthew's in leader. That's not good.
Jean! Young. Okay, there I am, right? And my roommates, band roommates, feeling like thinking, oh, like, what if I can die? And just when I found out I was so proud. Anyways, that's why I'm busy writing this movie. So don't bother calling. Oh, this is your story, by the way. Mm -hmm. Alright, it is a llama and she can look Okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, I've written nothing. Crap. <laughs> Serious. Night. Whoa! What the hell? What was that? My sweet rose is doing. Oh! What the hell is that? Oh, it's daytime. <laughs> Who was behind this? I had no idea. Whoa. What about that? Is it a... It has all the script. Whoa. I wrote a feature length screenplay on my screen. Well, it's not him. It was someone else. Yeah. I'm a screenwriter! Hey. And we're, we're back. back. I should do it again. Yeah, Ramona, what you doing? Uh, right up. Oh, what's this? Hey, different hairstyle. Yeah. Different color this time. Hey, oh. Nice. Right. Ramona went in video. All right. Let's do it. Julie. You changed your hair. What's up, Ramona? Oh my god. Nothing major. Just somebody kidnapped Scott Pilgrim and faked his death. You're fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy, I'm taking my 15. You took your 15 20 minutes ago. You stopped wearing me a fucking my life. <laughs> Last night, in my dreams, I saw Scott's subspace highway and heard his voice. Subspace what? It doesn't matter. I think it means he's alive. So I went back to the rocket to look at the security footage of what we thought was Scott's death. Oh, listen, let's see. Oh, it's a minute. Oh! Someone grabbed him and pulled him into a portal. And a coin, so they said that he's dead. You know that experience? Like, you know how yeah, you died? Yeah, those. To think like I told you earlier. I knew it was too good to be true. Can I get a croissant? Wallace? Can oh! You Wallace. Did you say Scott's alive? Oh, yeah. There's a boyfriend. <laughs> oh, trippy. Well, if you see him, tell him to change the locks. Yes, if you see me, remind me to change the locks. Oh, the sugar daddy days are over. For him, absolutely. For others, we'll see. 
The future is a mystery. Oh, yeah. Oh, your finger, finger <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you need to go to the show. <sighs> so why would someone kidnap Scott? And why would they get my hopes up by making it seem like he was dead? I haven't figured that out yet. Yet? Don't tell me you're going to try to find him. I think I have to. Ramona, I don't see how any of this is your responsibility. You went on one date. How good could it have been? Honestly, great. Your date with Scott Pilgrim? Yep. yep. Yikes. <laughs> well, more power to you. So what's your next move, Columbo? Well, you know everyone, right? I thought you could give me a quick rundown of the major characters in Scott's life. More like major suspects. Uh, well, let's see. The There's Steven Stills, okay. my ex, the singer in the band. Oh, He's a mess. Whoa. Too much anxiety for even the simplest decisions. No way could he mastermind a kidnapping. Then, there's Steven's roommate, young Neil. He's kind of sheltered, and he's only 19, but don't let that fool you. He's an idiot. He'd make Scott look like a genius, but he can't because that's literally impossible. What about Andy Adams? <laughs> oh boy, Scott's ex. The big one. Excuse me, I asked for an iced Americano. This is a hot Americano. Then add some ice cream to it. Andy <laughs> 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 Adams oh pulled Scott's heart out of his chest and stomped all over it with her patent leather combat boots. Oh. And that was before she went on to become a global sex symbol. I saw her do her thing at the funeral. She's even hotter in person. Are we sure they dated? Yeah, you're obviously not the only one with questionable taste, Ramona. Hmm, who else? <gasps> you know, you should talk to his other ex. She's known him longer than anyone. Okay, who is she? Cam? Oh, Cam. <sighs> what is sex at the bottom without Scott? He really added something to our sound. Something undefinable. Base. He added bass. Right! Exactly! So we know Scott is not in the base. You're kidnapping him. Who would want to understand? make us worse! I don't know. The odds are they make us the, better. The guy because we probably guy. sucked. There's always Scott's understudy. Oh, knife. Yeah, knife. No, 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 no! I fear change! Oh! Stay back. Stay back. Hey, you want to try playing something together? Just for fun? Me and you? I don't see anyone else in here. Oh, okay, that's a big guy. How long have you been playing with drums? A long time, since I was 14. Yeah. Drumming's a great outlet for my emotions. Rage, mostly. Wow. Rage. But how do I know which notes to play? It's up to you. That's why they call it play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, 
Funny thought. Maybe he faked his own death to get out of paying his late fees. <laughs> You're half right. Which half? He's not dead. <laughs> that house always wins. Hmm? It's just a dumb thing a dumb person told me one time. So, you've been using Scott's unconscious dreamscape to deliver DVDs quicker? You're the first person in Canada to understand that. It's not a complicated concept. No wonder you're putting us out of business. Canada? No, video stores. Julie said you knew him the longest. What did you need? You told me you were good at drawing. Maps are hard. If I had to draw sheep, though, I'd draw perfect. The sheep? Draw me a sheep. <laughs> That's the worst sheep I've ever seen. What are you talking about? The sheep is excellent. <laughs> he was always an idiot. But one thing led to another, and to my continued embarrassment, Scott Pilgrim became my first boyfriend. Uh, is Scott drawing the sheep your most romantic memory, or...? There was this one time I was kidnapped by a rival school and Scott had to fight through an entire army of teen jerks and their leader Simon Lee to rescue me. That's a romantic memory. Oh my god! Whoa! Yeah, but how romantic can a memory be if things ended terribly? Well, you're still friends. That's gotta be a good sign. He's at least a lovable idiot, right? Hmm. You like him, don't you? There were sparks. Ugh. You're in trouble. Oh. Why does this always happen to me? God. I don't know. Maybe you could ask one of your seven evil exes. Oh. Kind of assume they'd be your first suspects. Oh. I'm not in a hurry to see them. Okay! What? Sounds like Holly's taking care of it. Oh, huh. This is unexpected. Well, you better get me. No! Do you two know each other? We were college roommates. Uh, and more! And more. So, you're... No! Ramona Sport, Evil X! Okay! Sport, we're about to go free. Or you can let in on your baby. Besides, the league lies in ruin. Whoa! Oh my God. Why are you even? I'm here for us, Ramona. First in line to win your heart, because I have something the others never will. Which is what exactly? Emotional intelligence. None of these boys know how to talk about their feelings. What I failed to mention is that when it comes to feelings, you're as clueless as the boys. That's so unfair. You're just impossible to talk to. You want to talk about feelings? Start talking. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to fight you, Roxy. 
gonna run away like you did back then. <sighs> seen that long ago, but we were pretty immature, weren't we? You know, I can't remember the last time I just hung out with the girls. This is nice. The snacks aren't free, you know. Come on, fighting makes me hungry. You were really kicking my ass. You're not just saying that? I never just say anything. Should we kiss? Uh-uh. <laughs> I have unfinished business with Scott. Emotional business? He's dead, Ramona. He's not dead. It, it's complicated. I've got to find him first. But I'd like to be your friend. With benefits? No benefits. We're at the shop. <laughs> what about you? Oh, I'm not. Hmm. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh. Huh. We're at the shop. What about your hot co-worker? Is she coming up? Okay, she's trying to do it. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Now you're one step closer Five to the dumb ways of dreams, and you buried the hatchet with an X. Multitasking. Wow. Nah, honestly, shut the fuck out of me. Ugh, don't tell me I'm gonna have to do this with all seven of them. Oh, yeah, that's Lucas. Hollywood legend Lucas Lee is one of your exes? Unfortunately. Yeah. Damn, Ramona. I know he's a handsome, big chested devil may care how he's coming, not gonna lie. Is he evil enough to kidnap a dude and fake his death? Oh, well, what are we to find out? Oh, uh, the wall bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Of McDonald's. <laughs> they laughed at me when I called. So I spent the last of my pocket money on bus fare to Toronto just to see one sympathetic face. <laughs> Gordon, get your butt in here. Oh. Looks like Gordon. She got you. Oh, this is Lucas. Lucas. Well, he's a Hollywood actor. I can't believe she stay with him. Yeah. But unfortunately, she's gonna kill him. So what she's gonna do is all sudden act. Watch his out. Doing his out. Yeah, this is him. And get his um, uncle out is out too. Like I said, he's out too. Whoa. Oh my god. This is English. This is Hollywood. California. Whoa! All this, it broke. He <clears throat> got all the skateboard. That's a great collection of skateboards. It's a lot. I mean, he's gay, remember? Oh, people are joining the fun. Oh, God. Oh, 
my god! That's pretty dope, man. I wasn't playing. Oh, what's this? That's my agent, fellas. So what I do like this time? I've got bad news and bad news. Oh, shit. Let's start with the bad. Very well. Lucas, between your string of box office bombs and reports of your toxic skater boy behavior, this town's on the verge of saying, see you later, boy. You are Ugh. one mistake away from movie jail. Good thing I got a get out of jail free card. This smile. Oh, you realize I can't see you, right? On the phone? Yeah? Lucas, you need to get your act together. My act is acting. You want good at your shoes. I'm at a shoe store. Oh, that's just the sort of thing that's made oh, nigh oh, unemployable, oh, wow. isn't it? We've got one offer for a lead role. I suggest you take it. It's probably going to be the last one for a while. Your flight to Toronto departs in four hours. And remember, you must be professional at every opportunity. Or the stardom you love so much will slip through your grasp. Oh, here I go. Whatever. Oh, there's a flight. There's a fort, whatever. No one visits the set of the Lucas Lee movie without explicit permission. Lucas Lee is here? Of course he's here. What do you think our job is? Oh, man. Do you think we can have a selfie? Whoa. Hey. Red ball. 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 Young. Young, what's up, man? Young, you? Love the new hair. How does she? Never best to roll with a camera. Not like the bowling ball. She's she never does roll at all. You learn a lot on a movie set. Yeah, this episode four. And how many episodes we got total? Eight? Yep. One, two, three. Damn, four. look at the. This, this is how they do that. Why does the set look exactly like the rocket? The director thinks sets are more authentic than location. They don't consult me on those decisions. I'm just the writer. Of this movie? Uh-huh. You wrote a movie? I'll watch it right Yes. Now. You wrote a Lucas Lee movie? Bring it first, team. All right, guys, get around. Get around. Get around. Get ready. Whoa, what, what? the fuck? Envy? <laughs> Young Neil, why is Envy Adams dressed like me? She, she's yeah. bringing her flowers. Are you uh, kidding me? Okay. Yeah, we just love Young knife. Neil, what's the title of this movie? Quiet on the set. Hmm? Hmm? Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life. See you uh, big one. Action! So, are you a fan of Sex Bobong? No, I'm kind of seeing someone in the band. That's uh, crazy! Yeah. I so, um, I just want to make sure I understand what's happening here. Um, we're both dating Scott at the same time and don't know it? Cut! Yes, our lead character is flawed. You wrote an entire script about a world where Scott Pilgrim won the fight with Matthew Patel? Basically. Do you know where I can find Lucas Lee? Wait, who is he playing in this? Wait, what? Uh... Ah, T-Rex! Oh, 
Oh, you're Sonic Mom. Oh, you're Sonic Mom. Oh, no. Did you know? Nice. Did you call me? Great. How would you know that? I'm from the U.S. Oh. Well, you're definitely called that in Japan. Yeah, Pretty sure that. that's not true either. Hmm. Agreed and disagreed. Yes, Lucas Lee's trailer. Sir Sonic, not Mario. Thanks for the that? tour. Pokemon? Anytime. I know my way around the studio. <laughs> oh! I don't know where I am! <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. He's fucking dead. Oh, shit. Who is it? I'm working on my lines. It's Ramona. Flowers. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Flowers. Keep your sky. Freshman year. Dude, what the fuck? We need to talk. I'm not sure we do. About Scott Pilgrim. I'm Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> no, the real Scott Pilgrim. You see, I'm a fake Scott Pilgrim. No, the Scott Pilgrim your character is based on. Mm. I didn't know this was a biopic. No, it's more like. Wait, do you even know what this movie is about? Have you read the script? I've read the title. Maybe you should read a little more. Well, it's not fun as it's been to catch up. I'm eager on set. We're about to shoot my first scene. Gotta give the people what they want. Crank that Lucas Lee charm to 11. <laughs> Let me out. <sighs> Damn, girl. What are you doing later? <laughs> oh, Wallace. Are you hitting on me? Maybe I am. And maybe I am. Are you gay? <laughs> Oh, my Lord. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but... No, 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 that's different. He's a, he's an actor to play as Wallen. Oh. This is so stupid. I swear to God. Ramona Flowers. Didn't expect to see him here. Oh, Wallen. Seeking fame. Oh. Not my style. Ah. Still on the search for my old roommate. What's his name? Any progress? Minimal. But hopefully that's about to change. What brings you here? I heard they hired a notorious heterosexual to play me. Oh. You need to see Mr. Bargle up close. Action! <gasps> I had a dream about that girl again. <sighs> I didn't care the first time you told me. I care even less now. <sighs> Cut! Let's go again! Hmm. Hey, how was that? Uh, getting off any notes? Uh, yeah. How about you build a time machine, go back in time, and never audition for this part in the first place? Am I being heckled? Who has the nerve to share his opinions on the set of my film? Me. I have the nerve. You? What's your name? I'm Wallace Wells. Method. Wow. Bold, confidence, impressive. I love it! What's happening right now? Uh, have you acted before? I considered it, but I was worried to be too good at it. Wonderful. The part's yours. What about the other guy? He's already been escorted off set. What? Damn. Oh my god. Everybody take five while we get our new Wallace to hear makeup. Right, you heard Wallace. him, everybody. Take five, people. Hey, young Neil, how'd you know exactly what Scott and I said in bed that morning? The creative process is a mystery. Congrats on skipping all the traditional steps to becoming a major movie star. Hey, if Lucas Lee can do Mr. it, why not? Was behind the mask. Speaking of which, I hear Mr. Lee is already balls deep in a sweaty affair with someone on the production. You catch any gossip on who the lucky lady might be? Not the mystery I'm trying to solve. And on that note, wish me luck. Hey! You can always wish upon a star. The star being me. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, it's wow. Ramona. Uh, I'm reading the script. I'm busy. Come back later. I'm not falling for that. I know you have a girl in there. Can we just get this over with? <sighs> Fine. It's open. Right. Who is that girl? Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh. Oh, girl. 
Did you know I'm in this? Yeah, there's a lead. No, there's a Lucas Lane character, and Scott tricks him into grinding to death. I'd never fall for that. What kind of idiot would write this? Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> wow, that's a fast so this movie is what would have happened if Scott won the fight against Matthew Patel? Yeah. Scott defeats all your exes and the two of you live happily ever after. Young Leo may not be the brightest, but he has a vivid imagination. The ending's unrealistic. The remote of flowers I know would be on to the next one. That was a long time ago. Feels like yesterday. Why are you here? Scott's not dead. Someone wants us to think he is. Who? Why? That's what I'm trying to find out. Is there anyone from my past who would do something this messed up? You think I'd kidnap some Canadian loser and fake his death? You willfully chose to join a league of evil exes. I need to know how evil you really are. Huh. We're not really evil. It's just branding. I know your reputation. You're a quintessential Hollywood bad boy. You can't judge me. You're on a quest to find a guy who was dating a high schooler. I never do anything that stupid. If I did, my career would be over. Um, Lucas. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh <laughs> Shadow take the ring. 
Don't feel that bad. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, they sex each other. Need an assist? Why won't you help me? What do you mean? I always helped you. Until you left me with nothing but a broken heart. And a broken board. That was the day I decided who I was going to be. The best skater. The highest paid actor. The biggest star. That day made me who I am. So I guess... In a way... I have to thank you, Ramona. That's really nice, Alma, but we're out of time. Hmm. Are you gonna let me help you or not? Lucas Lee, we know you're in there! Scott. By tomorrow morning, someone else will be casting the role of the guy you like more than me, and I'll be back to being nobody. That was your cue to say something like, you were never nobody, Lucas. Well, you were definitely nobody, but I still made out with you. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Whoa! Still think I kidnapped the real Scott Pilgrim? No, I don't see he was a kidnapping guy. Or a portal guy. Good, because I didn't. That was the night of the Teen Sorcerer 4 premiere in L.A. I got blitzed and puked on Winifred Haley. You can find the photos online. Yes. Guess someone else took your stupid boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Whoever did this kept that train from leaving the station. Take care of yourself, Lucas. Huh. Whatever. So it's not him. I got a lie. There's a portal! Coming through. I got you here. 
The following documentary began as a behind-the-scenes promotional featurette for the release of the major Canadian motion picture, Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life. Oh, God. Unfortunately, during the process, the movie fell apart. This footage now stands as a first-hand account of how the movie-making dream can become a nightmare. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Is it true neither of you have acted before? Yes, but... We're very, very famous, and that's basically the same thing. We're rock stars. We do what we want. And what we want right now is to be movie stars. Mm -hmm. Like camera spark? People keep asking me if the movie lives up to my vision. I guess. If I'm being honest, this whole shoot does feel a little blurry. My mom says I should get my eyes checked. We're just trying to honor Mr. Neal's tremendous script, which I think is truly a tribute to this great city. I'd even go so far as to say Toronto is a character in the movie. A major character. Really? He said that? Who did the cast to play Toronto? Uh, guys, <laughs> aren't we supposed to be interviewing NB Adams stunt double now? Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> oh, Ramona! Hey, I'm Ramona Flowers. They said I should come talk to you. It's my first day. You're the stunt double for Ramona Flowers, and your name is also Ramona Flowers? That's the Ramona Flowers. <laughs> I'm a physical person, but I never thought about stunt work. Turns out I'm pretty good at it. Ramona! Huh? When you're done up there, oh, I've got another stunt work. Yeah. No problem. Great. I need you to run over to my hotel room and give my dog some medication. It'll be in a blue bag, on the counter. <laughs> Do you think this could be the beginning of a new career? Actually, I only took this job because security realized I wasn't working on the movie and I needed an excuse to be on set so I could get close enough to Todd to find out if he used a Lincoln portal to kidnap this guy I went out with one time. Uh, what? What was she saying? Oh, oh yeah, she had to the hair, yeah. Todd? Yeah. Do you know what blocking is? Hold it. Hmm? No stunts today. I just wanted to ask Todd. You're not wanted here, Ramona. Todd is busy. We're acting, okay? So, skate on. As you can see, the lighting in this scene is super dark to represent the darkness in Scott's soul. Uh, young Neil. You have glasses? Huh? Yeah. yeah. I finally got a prescription. Their sunglasses? Oh, wow. <laughs> I was wondering. There's no precedent for the path you've taken, from heckling on the sidelines to co-lead in a major Canadian blockbuster. Can you speak to him? I decided the only thing better than being me was getting paid to be me. Why be all the five for free? Hmm? The five? Yep. Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life, scene 43, yeah. take one. Here we go, guys. Right. Action. Action. Guys, Sonic Mom is in the scene. There's somewhere we're going to see. What can we try? I mean, Scott gently put his hand on Ramona's back. No, 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 no. Cut. <laughs> Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life, scene 43, take two. And action. All right, Todd. Just a gentle little touch. This <laughs> <laughs> is kind of like a chemistry set. Some people just have too much chemistry. And what happens when you mix a bunch of all the chemicals? You get an explosion. You do? That's dangerous. Why are we mixing all the chemicals on a movie set in the first place? Scene 43, take 18. Oh, Action! <laughs> Scene 43, take oh, 30. Oh my god. Action! 
Punched a hole in the moon for you. Teleported to the moon and absolutely. Oh, so it's the second one that I've ever seen. The most horrifying thing I've ever seen. Keep going by the stairwell. Yeah, that's a brother you're talking about. Oh yeah. Ramona. We need to talk about Scott Pilgrim. I'm Scott Pilgrim. <sighs> no, I mean. Oh, we're not doing shit again. Hold that up. Co-worker. The portal. Ugh. At the end of day two, the production was already seventeen million dollars over budget, with only three shots in the can. Yeah. Today I have a big fight scene, but I'm really hoping to put a pod away from Wallace for a few minutes. They always seem to be running lines in this trailer. You two have incredible chemistry. What's it like working with Wallace Wells? <laughs> He's told me so much about acting. No, about living. What can you even say about a man like that? What? I'm in love with you. What? What? I, I'm changing. I feel myself changing. I'm a new person. A new boy. My skin is clean. It's love. 
Uh, she's just there. She's walking away. I thought she'd be happy for me. Ugh, Todd, what happened to all that vegans never waver stuff? I never said that. I said, vegans never wafer. We don't eat wafers. That's true. They never waver. Never waver. Never waver. Look, any rumors about me having a very hot onset affair are just rumors. I'm... Hmm. Oh. Uh, Excuse me, I'm talking to the camera here. Tell him what you just told me. <laughs> oh. He's in love with me, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Well... Mm -hmm. I'll fix this. Todd! Buddy! This was just an onset fling. What? Huh? When the movie ends, so does the relationship. The tale is old as time. You love me? Oh no. What about the sparks? What sparks? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think we're good. 
This trailer holds so many memories. It's, uh, where I fell in love for the first time. The first time? Envy, what we had was fun. But I discovered a new kind of fun. The kind of fun where you care about another person. You wouldn't understand. What about us? You've known him for three f***ing days! <laughs> Is that all it's been? Even if it had just been two days. Then I'd be chasing that high for the rest of my life. You can't fight the moon like me, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm too famous for this conversation. We're done. Goodbye. Hold on. Hmm? We need to talk about Scott Pilgrim. I'm Scott Pilgrim. No, the real Scott Pilgrim. The guy you kidnapped using a vegan portal. And right there. Right here. Here. I don't know if you did this alone or if Envy put you up to it. No one puts me up to anything. Only I put me up to things. It's a vegan portal, all right. But it's better than anything Todd's ever made. I mean, look at the thought that went into it. The craftsmanship. Todd didn't do this. That wasn't rude. But I'll allow it. You spent three days following my orders because you wanted to show Todd a video of a portal? You have no other leads? Tragic. Looks like you're never gonna find him. Maybe you should give up. Sometimes you just need to leave the losers in the past. Are you talking about Scott or me? And by the way, you're fired. I quit. opportunity. If you give us a chance, we will blow your mind! Hmm. I like your moxie, kids. I have 30 seconds available next Tuesday. Damn! <gasps> Call my girls. Let's make this happen. Matthew Patel. Ramona Flowers. What's with the outfit? Are you a CEO? Actually, yes. I'm here to shut this movie down. I guess that was inevitable. It's probably losing you a lot of money. Money? Who cares about money? Have you read the script? It's a character assassination of me, Matthew Patel. I won that fight. I punched Scott Pilgrim to death. Well, you didn't actually punch him to death. Someone kidnapped him and made it look like you won. Huh? I didn't win. No. He's not dead? Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Is he mad at me? I don't know <laughs> you. I'm trying to find him and figure out who I did mean, this. But down. you know I took my newfound confidence from killing Scott Pilgrim and went back and defeated Gideon, right? I'm sorry? I went up against Gideon and won it all. Two record labels, this movie studio, 14 animal shelters, and the League of Evil Axes. The Empire's mine. And I plan to keep it. I won't make the same mistakes he made. I won't end up where he is now. Which is where, exactly? Here, Toronto. He's shacking up with some girl named Julie something. 
Did you know Gideon is the name in his real name? It's not? No, it's no, Gordon. It's Gordon. Gordon Goose. What? Everything we knew about that guy was a lie. Miss Julie. It wouldn't be Julie Powers. Yeah, that's it. You know? Oh. I They made it her guy. Where are you going? Julie Powers and I need to talk. Master, hello, hello, Bob. That's her home. Look. Watch an anime and anime. I'm looking for Graves. Gideon. Who the hell is Goose? He breaks the adult formerly known as Gideon Graves. So he was like the Goose now. Gordon Goose. Are you anime? That's cool. Anime? You anime? know, anime? my name is Lucas, actually. It's Luke. Oh. That's not even hey. remotely the same thing. No name. Never mind. What can I do you for? Well, here's how I see it, Goose. I've lost everything. You've lost everything. I thought maybe you'd have some words of advice. Mm, now you want something from me. I know I left you in the lurch after Matthew, but if you could find it in your heart to forgive me, Forgiveness I... is what you want? Hmm. Well, I have something entirely different in mind. Oh, 
Oh, that morning. Hey, we're back. Hey, we're back. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I forgot the hair. We're going to see what the hair looks like. Like a little sort of jewelry. That's a thing. So, what's the hair doing now? Oh, bluish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, who did it? It's a tattoo. Right. <sighs> Julie. Oh, it's you. Julie, I'll make this brief. Is that the sound of skates I hear? Tell everyone to come in here and kick it. We'll watch TV and eat chips. Oh no, we're out of chips, Jules. We need chips. So it's you and Gideon now. <laughs> Me and Gideon? No, that's Gordon. Gordon Goose. You're saying the guy eating chips on your couch is not the former all-powerful evil gazillionaire I used to date? <sighs> this info dump was inevitable. Oh, 
Is oh she my the god. Oh my god, Cody. She's the one who's been searching for Scott this whole time. Hi, Kevin, Kevin. Really? You two moved on with your lives. And she's been skating all over town asking a lot of stupid people some really smart questions. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, that's good. Come on, Knives. Can't we just let bygones be bygones? When we saw Ramona on the movie set, you were as cool as a cucumber. That was business. This is emotional business. Emotional business. Can I get a witness? Stop. <laughs> Enough with the songwriting. Can we focus for a second? Right. Let's go see Ramona. Okay. It is the cafe. Uh, Gideon and Julie, please. Gordon Goose would never. Can you please explain this Gordon Goose thing? Well, when I was in high school in Northway, Ontario, Gordon Goose was the weirdest kid in my year. Oh, God. His glasses were too big for his face, his clothes fit funny, even his hair looked wrong. Everyone called him Fearless because he wore those No Fear t-shirts every day. I guess he started taking that name a little too seriously. One day out of nowhere, he presents the most popular girl in school with a 12-point business plan as to why she should date him. They call me Fearless. I have no fear of the sting of rejection. Therefore, there's no downside to me attempting this. He moved away after that, but I never forgot about him. I had no idea Gideon Graves was the dorky kid from my past until he turned up on my doorstep. Matthew Patel took everything he had, and what was left behind? Gordon Goose. Gordon Goose. And that's working for you? We understand each other. When I was with him, Gideon uh, Gordon was a twitchy, rage-filled, impulsive, emotionally abusive, controlling, manipulative egomaniac. Oh my god! But oh. if he makes you happy, that's good, I guess. It's not good. It f***ing sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? When Gordon showed up, he was power-hungry. He wanted revenge. He would have done anything to get his empire back. Ugh, ambition is hot. But after a few days, it's like the evil drained out. Now he just sits on the couch watching anime all day. Hey. hey. What if it's an act? The Gideon I knew was a plotter. The whole League of Evil Exes thing could have been a smokescreen for an ultra-secret kidnapping plot. Maybe none of the other exes were in on it. Maybe it was all G-Man. Or maybe the two of you were in on it together. Look, I wish that was the case. I wish we were up to some exciting villain business. It would spice things up around the house. But he's just a loser. Trust me. You can take him or us off your list. <sighs> One step forward, two steps back. You should come over and say hey. I think Gordon wants to apologize for creating the League and all that. Oh, do I have to? Hey, so his real name is Gordon Goose. Oh my god. Can you believe that crap? I love that crap. I'm obsessed with that crap. Oh, wow. Stacy, were you eavesdropping? <laughs> you shouldn't be here on your day off. Oh, Goose, go on out of here. Mm. Oh, and then she punched him. Huh? Oh, oh that what happened. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> I was gone for 90 f***ing minutes! <laughs> what did you do to my house? And, and what was the robot? What robot? <laughs>
Oh, you're going to fire. Stop! Stop! This is stupid. Let's all be adults for once, okay? Julie, what are you doing? I don't know. Guess I got caught up in the moment. Lucas, you can't live here. That's ridiculous. Find your own place. I'm flat broke. I can't even afford a first class flight back to LA. And the only work I can get is voicing an animated series. Lucas Lee is live action or nothing. You might need to open your mind to other opportunities. And you, hmm? stop being a loser. I treat Julie better than he treated me. <sighs> hey, that robot with the lampshade on its head, where have I seen it before? During the movie shoot, he was spying on me in my trailer. Well, not there. Somewhere else. You know who made him, right? That's their special little guy right there. The twins. Oh! I gotta go. planning an elaborate plan. A plan in which I would get revenge on the one who took everything from me. A plan that would turn Matthew Patel into dust. What would you say if I was planning a plan like that? Uh, what would I say? I'd say, that's hot. someone who faked his death. I've been trying to figure out who did it, why they did it, and how they did it. And now, I know all three. Ooh. Let's start with the who. By now, most of you know about my past. I've dated a lot of people who were suspect. That's a similar word to suspects. Wow! Yeah, wow. Five exes have been eliminated from the list. Matthew Patel, Roxy Richter, Lucas Lee, Todd Ingram, and Gideon Graves. Uh, Gordon Goose. Not that it matters. Okay, so seven exes, five eliminated. That means... Two. The twins. Ken and Kyle Katayanagi. They were my TAs in Robotics 101. Ken is 30 seconds older. Kyle's the hothead. And that leads to... So why? They have the motivation. It was my second semester of college. I didn't know what I was doing. I was a kid. But to the twins, I was fresh meat. This year's girl. There were a couple of players, and they wouldn't leave me alone. So maybe I got a little bit of satisfaction when they figured out I was playing them right back. See, I was dating both of them at the same time. Damn, Ramona. Damn, Ramona. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Familiar? To someone seeing someone and also seeing another someone. Oh, shit. Sure. 
Someone's are aware the oh, other someone. You know who's her oh, to. Scott. Yeah. Us. But the hey, can it. we get back to the who did it? Right. The how is how? a vegan portal. Created by vegan powers. But this portal far exceeded the power level of my only vegan ex. And that made me realize. What's more powerful than a human vegan? Two human vegans? No. A robot vegan. Oh. A robot that's never eaten meat. A robot that's never had any dairy. A vegan without the inherent flaws of humanity. A vegan created by the twins. It was at the rocket before Sex Bobong went on stage. See? Right before Scott disappeared. burned in college, kidnapped Scott Pilgrim by using their robot's unique capabilities to create the most powerful vegan portal of all time. It's simple, really. But maybe I missed something. What about the where? Where is he? We'll know soon enough. When I find the twins, I find Scott. So, about to be reunited with that one guy you went on one date with one time, eh? Looks that way. You excited? That's a pretty big question. Didn't we come here for a reason? Oh, yeah, right! Huh? We came here with information. About your Scott case! Well, about Young Neil, actually. Young Neil didn't write that script. He didn't write Scott Pilgrim's precious little life! Apparently, I didn't write the movie. Then who did? We don't know. We didn't figure out the who, the why, or the how. But we did figure out the when. Wait. I thought someone would say it! I wasn't pausing for dramatic effect! According to the file data, that script was written 14 years from now. Wait. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. oh, the doorbell. <gasps> Scott! Scott! Hey. Scott? Where have you been? Was it the twins? Their robot? The vegan portal? Are you okay? I'm okay. And yes, it was the twins. And the robot. And the vegan portal. But someone else was behind the whole thing. Someone else? Who? It was me. I did it. God! <laughs> okay, now let's see the point of view. Oh my god!
Oh my god! Shit. And we're back. So, this is the old Scott Pilgrim. There is like an old, and this is like in the future. Wow, you can see people. Whoa. Wow. 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 So we actually make it past 25. Yeah, man. We might even make it to 40 if we're lucky. This is wild. So what's up with us? Are we rich and famous? Do we win a lot of cool fights? We do okay. The fact that we can grow a beard alone. Very impressive. Finally, somebody appreciates it. <laughs> Whoa! We live Whoa. here? No way! Yes, way! Here, let me show you our house. Uh This place is so cool. It's just, was there a reason you brought me here? Because I was kind of in the middle of fighting some dude. He said he was part of some kind of hockey league. Ha! The League of Evil Exes. That takes me back so many adventures ago. That's right. Evil Exes. Whatever happened with that? Well, let me break it down for you. Fighting those exes was the biggest mistake of our entire life. Because we lost? No. Because we won. Hey! Come on, I'll show you. Whoa! Hey, we are? You have virtual reality in the future? Oh, we have it all. The future's more futuristic than they originally predicted. You're gonna love it here. I am? For how long? Yeah. Go. I heard people went to the hospital. Oh yeah, cause I. <laughs> That's a virtual boy. <sighs> Give this one a spin. Oh, that boy is so cool. Oh, I got the shape of a guitar. Yeah. Where's your guy? Oh. Oh. How did you do this? Oh, so easy. I paid some nerd on the internet. That's that one guy. I know him. This is the league, eh? They don't look so tough. That guy just skateboarded to his death. Oh, they're chumps. Seven deadly chumps. Oh, wow. Wait, is that our ex? What's she doing here? Do we have to confront our past or something? Because that sounds terrible. I'm telling you, the whole thing was terrible. And for what? You punched a girl in the boot? And that gives circumstances beyond my control! <laughs> so Ramona dated a robot. That's progressive. No, no, she dated the twins. They're humans. What is this? Another red flag, pal. I don't see any flag, and it's all red. No, it's yeah, figure of speech. God. Oh, we get married? This is really sweet, actually. We got plenty of other watching out. Oh! Love it. Yeah, I bet Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. <laughs> this is a really nice project, man. Oh, is that the, uh, that's not part of it anymore. Uh, ignore that one. I, I told him to take that out. Next screen. The next one is what's important. The boys. Now this one looks like it's in a completely different style. Oh, what are you talking about? It's the exact same, if not better. No, it's definitely worse. 
Whoever did this is bad at art. So, we're divorced? Well, technically we're separated. Oh man, when? After the honeymoon. A few, 12, 13 odd years later, yeah. Years? What? We must have had some good times. Oh, sure, but those aren't in the simulation. Back to the tour. Oh, I haven't even mentioned the band. Oh. Sex bob is still going? Cool. Sex bob No, ancient history. I'm talking about my new band, Poppin' Twinbee. The members are me oh. and the twins. Oh. The name, you didn't catch that? I told you about the twins, though, right? The twins who dated Ramona? Yeah, like a minute ago. You said we defeated them. Oh, yeah, duh. We kicked their ass. But after they respond at home, I guess they learned their lesson or whatever. You know, sometimes bad guys turn into great guys. You'll learn that on a later adventure. Yeah, oh, check out our new video. Over there. I will watch a video. Big city, good. This old stuff in our garage. Our garage? Oh, when I said our house, you thought I meant me and oh, you. Oh. Knock, knock. You boys want some iced tea? Oh, Wallace. Oh, sure. Two Scots. Yikes. Nobody mentioned Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody the Hedgehog? Oh, wow. Sonic, you're special. Am I dead? No, I mean, like, you're special because this is the final warning. Watch along How can old Wallace afford yeah, such a big house? Well, no offense. None taken. I can't afford it. It's kind of a sugar daddy this situation. Is my home now. Sugar what? Sugar daddy situation. Oh, wow. My husband is. Don't! Well, it's not a secret. He's not ready. I haven't prepared him. He's gonna find out one way or another. <sighs> Alright. Alright. I, I didn't want to do this so soon. But he's right. Oh no, don't Something tell me. needs to tell you. Wallace's husband works at Nintendo. <laughs> what? Do they make the video games? Yes. Does he get every game for free? Yes. He doesn't. That's not true. It's true. They get every game for free. <laughs> oh, I knew it! Hey! Oh, Wallace, I'm really, really happy for you. Oh, please. You're seething with jealousy. Get your own husband. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Snap Pilgrim is refreshed. Hey. So why do we live here, old me? I thought when we grew up, we'd, you know, no offense, stop living with Wallace? None taken. This is temporary. We're, we're just crashing here while we figure stuff out. Stuff with Ramona? Not everything is about Ramona, okay? But yeah, obviously stuff with Ramona. <laughs> and where's old Wallace's husband? He's at work. Oh, is that where he is? Yeah, I guess he's been there for a few weeks oh, then. What are you insinuating? I mean, I'd stay there too. Young Scott, oh shut God. up. You're not helping. I'm regular Scott. He's old Scott. Fine. Regular Scott, shut up. <laughs> old Scott, why is there younger you in my kitchen? Ha! Huh. Oh! Not that you mean, you, this was your idea! I'm sorry? Yeah, when me and Ramona were having problems, you said too bad I don't have a time machine so I can go back and stop myself from dating her in the first place. Buddy. I was obviously joking. Well, now you tell me. For real? How the hell did you get a time machine in the first place? That technology hasn't even been invented yet. Life's a funny thing. I'm sure not where I expected to be when I woke up this morning in Ramona's bed. But it's not all bad, I guess. Hey, I'm Scott, by the way. 
Didn't I see been, you at the Rocket back episode. at our show? This is that episode, right? Yeah, we got all the I know that problems. was a while ago for you, but did you happen to get any of that on video? Oh. You record video of everything? Everything. Like, everything, everything? No way. Oh. Huh. Whoa. Wait, what's the got? I'll come to the, the virtual boy. Oh. Let's start with the moment I left. So it's not bad. All right. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Video games rule! <laughs> wow. Is that a porno? Yeah. You can see the look, look at the ground. Yeah, see uh, Oh. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> she has long hair. Uh, oh. Yo, that's sick. Oh my god, uh, age your ass. Damn it. Yeah, you will try to uh, feel out what age. Sorry about this. He kept asking to see you. Very annoying. Anyway, he's your problem now. Hold it. You're not going anywhere. I heard about old used idiotic time travel plan. Sort of thought it was a joke. Convinced himself to stop being obsessed with me? Has he met himself? That's why I came up with a backup plan. A few years ago, one of your dumb friends wrote a memoir. Ooh, young. Oh. Scott Benamuna and Me, My Precious Big Life as Scott Pilgrim's Best Pal by Old Young Neil. Huh. I read it. Decent love story. Could have used more Wallace. Scott and Ramona loved each other very, 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 very much. If old Scott was going to erase everything, I wanted there to be some way for you to discover our story. So, I sent it back in time. You have a time machine, too? They're made out of parts from an old DeLorean. Oh. When I hit 88 miles per hour, I travel through time. Yeah, I don't know what that is in kilometers. Okay, I get the plan in theory. Except Scott doesn't read books. Yeah, but I thought of that. So I moved some scenes around, combined a few characters, and before I knew it, I had a tight little space. Oh! It's, it's her! That's the future so you Ramonia! You convinced this me that young you was bad news, and he'd send me back home, and we'd break up, and then one day I'd be at my local Cineplex and see a preview for a movie about myself. Okay, the plan may have been misguided. I just. Uh, I had to try. I mean, he's the love of my life. Then it wasn't misguided. Scott, the plan was a disaster. The movie fell apart, careers ended. That's not the story I saw. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I saw a story about you. Or another you. The Ramona I left. She was looking for me. Looking for answers. Never giving up. Like that famous detective. Columbo? I was gonna say Detective Pikachu. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty cool. So cool. <laughs> okay. No. Now you said you said Pokemon. Detective Pikachu. Those are all. Those are fun. Yeah, you wish come true. Hey. Goodbye, old Wallace. Love the new hair. Call your husband. I agree. Looks hot. And you should call your husband. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. But thank you. We do look hot. Yeah. Okay, and now just chat. Alright, let's go. So her, so her back inside what it looks like? Yeah, oh wait, wait. Here we go. 88. Woo! Mm -hmm. Hey baby, 
Miss me? How's work? So that's why you're staying. Wait, is future me here? Yep. Hey! Um, I was just gonna drop him off, but figured I'd stick around long enough to say hi. Well, hi. Uh, Holy crap. You gotta get a picture of this. Hey, that's awesome. Can we try this? What? Can you find this? I would try. Hey, this is yours, right? Oh, thanks, nurse. Um, while we're talking, FYI, I met someone. So I've gathered. I'm really sorry. I probably should have told you sooner. It all just happened so fast. And maybe this isn't the best time to have this realization, but I probably shouldn't have been dating you in the first place. Apparently, a 23-year-old dating a high schooler is frowned upon by society. Hmm. Scott, I'm glad you're alive. But I'm also glad you died. Oh, oh. It gave me a lot of space to reflect and grow. Oh, man. So, thanks. What's that nice? Anytime. Oh, yeah. She's a tie. But, duh, walk a man. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> You're back. You're actually back. Yeah, it's... yeah. your exes. I don't know, pal. A lot has happened. How much did you see on that futuristic VR thingy? I'm pretty much caught up. Then you know the game has changed. But the players are the same. So we track my exes down, one by one. Again. <gasps> Wait! What if there was somewhere you could find all the exes gathered together at the same time to celebrate musical theater? Yeah, you know what they're going. Get ready, guy. Oh, I can go ready for this. Back here. Look at the velocity. episode we're going to take a break because when we come back this is the main event to include for final warning and guys let's forget that like tonight is of course a final warning so i do pee in to pacific you guys that come to the song line versus the sober production will, will call each other each match it does include the main event will cover the event eugene championship against sonic in a main event so guys we see you guys when we, when we come back 
All right, guys, we're back, and guys, let's rem- guys give you guys a reminder that, that tonight is, of course, a Team Sonic. E- that's right, for Team Coastal event. Remember that final warning. This is, of course, where Team Sonic and the Sword Reduction are head to head, similar like last year, where where these are fire charges. This last year was like a last preview, and man, guys, what a guys, what a event it has been like, like for these two. But now we know that this year. A lot of things gonna happen, like a lot of personal thing is gonna be involved, like where it's absolutely crazy. We will take about a match card. But we didn't know what the next event but later we didn't know the next time we'll be coming on Two Long Watch Along for the next Two Long Watch Along event. And Team Watch Along War of Legend in two weeks, two weeks from today two weeks from today, which you can watch Kenna or Woman. The next event is Kenna Woman. And lastly, the last episode of Spy Pass. Spy Pass will be coming out on day one. On the seventh and third, and day three and the seventh and fourth is kind of boring. So you know what I miss because this will be a Christmas weekend spectacular. I cannot wait because Christmas Day along Monday till the fifth, which people make sure we don't want to confuse the sky. I I can't wait for World Legend. World Legend will be the big event to conclude the final event of twenty three. Well, guys, we know that we know that the of course tonight is a final warning. And we have a bunch of marriage cards that we're involved. And that's of course the main event of Sauna, sorry, Kirby versus Sauna for the Eugene Union Championship. My guy, you're not Chai Chai. Kirby, you got all your up? Yeah, because they're like, of course, the, we got a match coming up. Like, Luke will defend his watch on the championship against Mokomo. Sauna will defend will, will his anime championship against Nzilgo ever since Sauna won the both title at Tinker of Survival. Speaking of which, Donald will also face his Garcia Championship again. Kenny, this is Kenny's big opportunity ever since she won the title at at the at the Memorial Day special. So let's see what she got. And then Mina Show will defend his title on will has defended his Diamond Stones Championship against Mini Donald. Guy, ever since Don, ever since Shadow beat Jordan in the biggest upset that we didn't see the thing coming, we know that Shadow will be the future. But this is this is this is Shadow an opportunity that he's been waiting for. So let's see how Donna, let's see how Shadow will go. Sony will defend his team Coastal Championship against Sailor Moon. Where this is this is it's been a while since Sailor Moon will have a have any type of opportunity. And then Chuck Jr. ever since they fall against Junior Jamaya at the main event, I think it's a rival. But we know the parts are gonna happen at War Light Jam. But further deal with Lucina and Sasha for the Utah Test Team Championship. This is of course Lucina and Sasha where they involved in a and that's just the, the, the solo production. But we know that of course the main event we've been waiting for. Curry we're going well Curry will go with the first title against Sonic in the main event to close down for the final warning. And guys, this will of course be the last stop before we hit the last preview. You know that's World Legend. We know the the, the, the night one main event of World Legend. Chuck and Junior will, will defend their YouTube Tag Team Championship against Julian Jamaya. Part two. No stipulation, no bullshit. It'd be a fair fight to see who are going to walk out in the night one of World Legend. But guy, if not Chai Chai, like Donna mentioned, so I'm sorry Donna, because we know that this is up for the last episode of Scott Pilgrim Takeoff. Hey, let's do it guys, so can you have volume up? Volume up like your mom did. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, here we go guy. Alright guys, uh, let's do it right now. Then watch on the final one to present Scott Pilgrim take off. Episode 8. Start 10, 10 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3 2, 1, we, we go. Please keep your seats. Our show is about to begin. 
Extra butter, please. Keep going. Oh my God, Todd! Okay, dude. No, not great. More, more. Stop. Okay, now done with that, and we're done. Oh. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. That's one. Come on. Evil X number three, Todd Ingram, right? The vegan looks like it. Me? Yeah. Wait, you over Ramona? Don't make me laugh. And I'm vegan no longer. I know she's played for breakfast, lunch, and dinner today. What? Uh, you owe me a new tub of butter. I mean, that one. Yeah. And you didn't create this weird force field between me and Ramona? Dude. For your information, I've got a new obsessive love interest. <gasps> hey, you were both his roommate. Tell me everything. Where was he born? What is his middle name? Does he have a favorite vegetable? Move on, Todd. I'm not interested in Carlos. parts and weight. There were sparks! Sparks! Damn, they were hard. There's no such thing. <laughs> field preventing me and Ramona from kissing, did you? Scotty, that evil villain stuff is behind me. I've got jewels now. And we're just here to watch the show, you psychomaniac. Let us pass. Yeah. Have a last day. Hey, now look at it. Hey. Come on, fellas. Don't make this about me. Let me tell you about Broadway bad boy Matthew. <laughs> Oh, Roxy! Okay. Oh, nice. Hey, Evil X's, do either of you know anything about this force field thingy, and would either of you like to fight about it? Nope. Come on, let's go watch a stupid yeah. musical about stupid Yeah, they're terrible more, y'all. Watching these two. Yeah. But we know it's the power. Oh, excuse us, we were just waiting for that. So, <laughs> <laughs> Our robot says we're all bros in the future, so later, <laughs> bro. So it probably wasn't. So we're not there. Now who is? Wait, nobody? We've ruled out all my exes. What the hell? No fights? No kissing? This finale sucks. Oh, Jason, man. Oh! Oh, no, 
Oh, go there. Oh, fuck that coming. Whoa. Did you get right back, Tommy? The world versus Cup Pilgrim. Oh, shit. Um, what the hell? Where are we? Oh, wow. Everybody. Gotta be part of the show. The special effects are incredible. It most certainly is not. No. I need to get back oh, and sing the big finale. <laughs> exactly. He needs to bring the house down. With dynamite. Julie and I rigged the whole stage with it. You did what? <laughs> you, see, you took his life away, and I'm the cool girl who's helping him get it back. But that could really hurt someone. Hey. Not us. Oh my God, you can't So not cool, Goose. No. Who is that? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Scott? But, oh. Oh, Scott. No. Oh, you even order Scott? Oh my God. Oh, Even Even older me! How you doing? Love the white hair. Huh? Ah! Oh! Oh! Huh? Huh? I explicitly told you to stay away from Ramona. But did you listen? Whoa! Isn't that perfect? Scott and Ramona must be love. Hey, give us a kiss, you two. Let's see those sparks. The force field. It was you. Ah, duh. Yeah, I tried to convince you to give up on Ramona, but if you didn't listen, I had a backup plan. I put nano machines in your drinks, developed by the twins, coded to Ramona's DNA. You'll find the AK fields they generate to be quite impenetrable. AK fields? Anti-kiss fields! <laughs> no! So why are you here fighting us? You've already won. I'm here because winning didn't change anything. We still end up marrying Ramona inexplicably. You and all your stupid friends must team up at some point in my new past and figure out how to dissolve the anti-kiss fields. My new memories are kind of fuzzy, but that made me realize all my plans were too complicated. It's time to do what I should have done in the first place. RIP YOUR <laughs> hmm? Sir, I respect the work you've put into this villain plot, but I have my own villain plot going on. So please, send the rest of us back first. We've got no beef with you. Well, what if I have a beef with you? Oh! Oh! oh. What are you oh, no. doing? <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> after you left the future, and after old Wallace kicked me out, I began my training. <clears throat> For ten years I did nothing but study all of your skills, your strengths, your weaknesses, because there's only one way to end it. Big bad guy. Me? I'm a good guy. I've been living like a friggin' mom. Is that what we're calling it? Or is it just that you haven't been outside in ten years? Ah, you sound just like my wife. <laughs> well, let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. Okay. Got anything besides that hammer? Mm. 
why. Oh, shit. Hey! Oh. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Matthew, let's go! Oh! Oh, oh yeah! Let's go, guys! Oh! His baby power! Power to kill it! Oh, he's here. Yeah, he's great right now. Oh, oh. Oh. Hey. oh, come on. Oh, that's smash. Oh. training to go back in time and fight yourself? We're not just myself. A lot of people and a robot. We hit one rough patch and you go completely insane? Why are you in the past fighting all of these people? And a robot. When you could have been fighting for us. Uh, we were over. You just needed some space, dude. Well, what have I been doing for the past 10 years? Giving you space. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Back up. I mean, are, are you saying that we weren't over? Are you saying that you still loved me? At the time, yes. Oh! Does that mean that we can get back together? Just like that? After 10 years? No, dude. Huh. Well, that makes sense, I, I guess. So, what about me? You're telling me I should just skate on, call it another failed experiment? Would that come as any surprise? Oh, go ahead. Both of you, run! 
Run away from the thing that you love. Huh? Oh, she's done. No, I choose you. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, slow down. Really We're making an action movie, not living one. Yeah. Oh, have you seen him Tokyo Drift that thing? <laughs> Young Neil is up the chain. He's eating. Hey. Oh, nice. Remember what Julie said to him? Yeah. <laughs> Yo! The superstar of the rest of the look is me. Impressive. Whatever. Uh, whatever? Yeah, whatever. That is live. Yeah, it's so annoying. Stacy. But the tips are good. And I do get to look at this bell all day. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, the trend of Happy. Uh, oh, Wallace. Yeah, I'm spending the money I got for starring as myself in this major Canadian motion picture that never got made. Okay, see for play. Uh, number four, mm -hmm. You're the Canadian abroad? Her French is terrible. What color did it? What color did it this time? Yellow? Okay. It's just yellow. Oh, I agree too. What's this? Time for the real game to begin. The goose no, is loose. Honk, honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for Scott Pilgrim Takeoff. And guys, this show, it was absolutely a blast. And what a great way to, of course, to start and finish the Tales of Summer Wonder on Final Warning. So guys, we know that we, know that we have many matches going to happen tonight. And uh, of course, for Father Warning, but guys, we want you guys, we want you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, Stop Pilgrim, take off, and we got a feeling that we might get a new season since we just saw that never credit. So, what do Gordon and Joy are having in mind, and what the story is going to take place? So, I had a feeling that it's not over yet. But we need to go, but we gotta feel that it might go, it might go to happen in the next, in the next time we see that. But guys, oh, let's see how it does. Because season two, I think we didn't see Kisuna later in the future. But this time, it's going to come to watch the show on Final Warning. We see that tonight, if you don't miss anything, they watch it now. It's just like the good day. Give it up, Kisuna. If you don't see it tonight, it's going to go to the arena and go to the and gonna also for the solo for the solo production viewer out there, the fifty B stuff for Tales Fire and Watch Along Final One will be coming at 3 p.m. And then of course we will be the fifty B stuff. This is something we call for the fifty B stuff Final One and start the the watch along we call Enemy by Nerve. So make us sure to check out the new video. Well, you guys make us sure to check out the new video coming out at 3 p.m. So you won't miss it. And we see guys, Warlord Grand, for Kenna Woman, for that's a quote of Star Fab Life. You got it. Next up, Warlord Legend, plus a watch along. Here we go.